Industrial Control System, ICS, definition. An ICS is any system that allows you to manage industrial processes or critical infrastructure like water treatment, power grids, etc., across a network. It essentially provides remote or automated control over machinery or equipment in large-scale settings. SCADA as a type of ICS. A supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA, system is specifically designed to handle large-scale, sometimes geographically dispersed infrastructure. It usually includes a host computer that centralizes data and sends control commands out to various remote equipment. Real-world example. Think of a power grid operator who can monitor and manage multiple substations spread over hundreds of miles, all from a single control room. Industrial Internet of Things, IIoT, slash Industry 4.0. The IIoT concept merges data analytics with industrial processes. Industry 4.0 is a similar term that often involves automation, real-time data, and interconnected systems to optimize industrial operations. How IIoT optimizes SCADA. By integrating advanced sensors, data analytics, and IoT devices, an IIoT framework can enrich the data SCADA systems collect, making the entire control process smarter and more efficient. Instead of a simple on-off approach, operators gain insights into how systems behave and can adjust processes proactively. Key point. Traditional SCADA might only provide limited data points, while IIoT can unlock a continuous stream of operational information, helping predict failures, reduce downtime, and optimize performance. Role of IIoT with SCADA IIoT, Industrial Internet of Things, is presented as a complement to SCADA systems. It enhances SCADA by merging its control functionalities with IoT devices' ability to collect extensive data. Data collection and utilization IoT devices these devices gather large amounts of data from the industrial processes. Practical uses of data. Logic decisions. The data enables systems to make real-time, automated decisions to control operations. Business decisions. The same data stream helps in forecasting and planning for future needs by analyzing trends and patterns. Control of critical infrastructure. ICS role. An ICS is capable of controlling essential services and resources, including water supply, electrical grids, transportation, telecommunication networks, and healthcare systems. Importance of ICS in societal functioning. Impact of disruption, damage or failure in these systems can lead to severe consequences. Economic impact. Disruption could have a negative effect on the economy. Public health and safety. Critical infrastructure failure could compromise health and safety. Security. National security could be threatened if these resources are compromised. Real-world implication. The paragraph emphasizes the vital importance of maintaining and securing these systems, given the widespread impact any failure could have on society. Legacy of ICS systems. Aged infrastructure. Many ICSs were implemented long before modern security standards were developed. This means they often lack contemporary security features and are not designed to withstand current cyber threats. Integration into modern networks. Increased connectivity. As these older systems are connected to modern TCP IP networks, they become more vulnerable. This integration exposes them to threats that did not exist when they were originally built. Opportunity for exploitation. Security risks. The lack of updated security measures coupled with increased network connectivity creates significant opportunities for attackers to exploit vulnerabilities in these outdated systems. Broader vulnerability concerns. Not limited to ICS. The text indicates that both storage systems and ICS face numerous issues that could be exploited by attackers. Multiplicity of attack vectors. Complexity of attacks. There isn't just one issue. There are many potential vulnerabilities in these systems, which can lead to successful attacks if not adequately addressed. Overall security implications. Importance of securing systems. This brief paragraph serves as a reminder that regardless of the system type, a multitude of vulnerabilities exist underscoring the need for comprehensive security measures.